the product property of square roots becomes a very powerful property to understand later on, especially when we get to the topic of geometry. What this property basically says is, if I have a square root of a times b, I can separate that into the square root of a times the square root of b. Okay, so how are we going to use this? Well, let's look at a very simple version of this. So let's look at something that might say simplify. And we'll give you a very easy version of the square root of 4x. All right, so what this property says is I'm then allowed to now separate this into the square root of 4 times the square root of x. So got these two separate ideas. Well, the square root of 4 is 2, and the square root of x, we can't really simplify, so it turns out to be square root of x. We've now simplified this problem. So what it allows us to do is separate, simplify, and then come up with a final solution. All right, so let's try one that's a little bit trickier, a little bit harder to see. And these are the ones that we'll probably use more of as we get further along. So let's look at something like this. Simplify the square root of 72. All right, these numbers come up a lot where we get these big square roots. We're not exactly sure what to do with them. Well, what we could do though is we can do it several different ways, but this is one way we can use this property is to separate this into 36 times square root of 2. So we've got the square root of 36 times the square root of 2, which is 36 times 2 is 72. So 36 turns out to be a perfect square. So this one right here will actually simplify into 6. And the square root of 2 cannot simplify. So we end up with 6 square root 2. Yes, we could use this for other examples. Um, we can exactly look at this one actually in a different way. So let's say that we looked at this same problem. I want to make sure you see kind of how this works. Let's see a different way of looking at this problem. So let's say that I saw this as, well, this is 2 times 4 times the square root of 9. Okay, so let's say that I broke this down into smaller numbers and I happen to see that. <clears throat> well, again, this one will simplify and this one will simplify. So let's see what those give us. So the square root of 2 can't simplify because we don't have a pair. The square root of 4 turns out to be 2. And the square root of 9 turns out to be 3. So when we clean this up and we kind of simplify this out together, the 2 times 3 will give me 6, and then I'll still have my square root 2. So this property will come back later on to help us break down square roots, especially when we start getting into problems dealing with Pythagorean theorem.